Welcome back to the 2019 AWSI. We are here at the North Kiteboarding booth with Mike, the brand manager of North Kiteboarding. We've got three, three kites, as you said. Um, the first kite is a five strut uh, big air free ride kite, and that is called the Orbit. Predictable in the unpredictable. So big power, big lift, really big jumps, but most importantly, our biggest takeaway from this has been the hang time. The kite just really gets up there and just floats, and people end up almost over-rotating tricks quite often on landing because they just don't realize how much lift it has. Yeah, I mean, the control bus system, I'm not sure if we've got one around us, but um, yeah, it's, it's clean, it's simple, um, it's really easy to use. Uh, we've, we've made sure that there's a, what we call the connect system, so it's like a, the, the click-in uh, quick release, which is really easy to use. Um, and then we have an interloop system, which is you're able to toollessly change out your loops. So um, I'm just gonna grab a sample behind me um, these are these are the loops. You can see this is quite a small one in comparison um, versus what we would call our standard free ride uh, standard free ride loop, which comes complete with the product. And then you're able to change this also with a large freestyle loop. This one for freestyling, you notice this doesn't have a security pin. Um, and then you're also able to change to a surf loop as well, so a surf slider loop. But the great thing about this is that you can disconnect one-handed. You're able to click back in quite easily. Um, and if you want to change the loop, you literally push, twist, pull, and you can slide out all of these loops so you can interchange with each one. We've got three really distinctively different shapes. Um, we've got your traditional down the line, vertical board, top to bottom, a lot of power, a lot of drive, and this is called the charger. We've got the comp, which is very much the freestyle, um, strapless freestyle board. You can notice it doesn't have inserts. Um, and then in the middle, you can see the shape, it kind of, the nose of the shape of the board kind of really helps you indicate what it is. This is a crossover board. So this is your everyday go-to, works well in surf, works well on those onshore days. We call this future light technology. So it's been around for about 15 years in surfing with a friend of mine. Um, so it's really tested, but it means we're able to make a surfboard that is super lightweight, like a surfboard, um, but strong like a kiteboard. Um, but that fire, um, the future light, runs around the rail and locks underneath the box. So these boxes are super strong because the carbon's holding the box in place. There's a lot of load on fins. And as you push on those fins, it drives the power and the energy back into the rail and vice versa. When its power's coming through the rail, it drives it back into the fin. Okay, so now we're checking out the new twin tip lineup at North Kiteboarding. Mike, tell us about it. Um, yeah, basically we have three different constructions. Um, so the first is composite, which is a, a standard wood with a glass laminate top and bottom sheet, polonial wood core, very simple. Um, the second is what we call a hybrid construction, which is that same wood construction with two unidirectional stringers on the deck and on the base of the board, which give it a lot more torsional stiffness, gives it a little bit more pop. And then right at the top of the range, for those who've got the dollars, um, is our 100% carbon top and bottom um, with the unidirectional stringers. So a real range of, of performance and, and uh, strength and, um, and price, obviously, as well. So it makes a big difference. But we've basically got four models. Um, we've got the Prime. As you can see, very cut-in tips. Um, the, the shape of the, of the outline of the board, a little bit longer, means it's easy to edge up wind. It's a chop killer. You don't get caught with those big wide tips. Um, the Atmos is very much a hybrid construction, so a little bit softer on the knees, but still fantastic high performance versus the carbon board, which is a lot stiffer. So it's the same board, same shape, just in two very different constructions. The outline of the focus is a little bit squarer compared to the Atmos boards, and the Atmos boards are very much for that free ride jumping part, the focus very much for the wake style freestyle. And then we've got the flare on the far end, which is very much our wake style part crossover board. And then the most important thing out of them all is our beautiful binding um, called the Flex. Um, people are coming off the water saying, you know, I keep asking them, how was, how was the binding? And they're like, I don't know. I, I, and I keep saying, are you sure you couldn't feel it? Like, no, I couldn't feel it. So I think we've done a really good job in the sense that once you're locked in, once you get the settings right, um, people are coming and it's got incredible triple density. It's got a rubberized EVA, which means it's super, super, super grippy. When it gets wet, it gets really grippy, super soft. Give us the lowdown on the foils. If there's one board that you want to take on a trip, you don't have too much weight, you're traveling with family, um, you want to be able to kite surf a wave. Um, I kind of call it the Fiji board. Um, it's that, that one board, three, um, three function quiver. Um, it's definitely the chase. Um, traditional surfboard construction, so the future light construction, um, and we've made it so that you're able to, uh, I think it's 5.0, five, five oh, uh, 5.2, 
you're able to charge down the wave, still use that as, as a kite surfboard, still has the ability to insert the straps, um, has all the same functions as the rest of our boards. Um, but you'll notice on the base that we've got um, the inserts, the M8 inserts to put in the foil systems. Um, second board in the range, definitely go to for most people um, coming into the, into the foiling, especially if you're looking for something that's that's um, what we call roll to ride, which means the board stays sits lower in the water. You don't have to get your feet as high to get them up into the board, into the foot straps. It's more like a traditional twin tip surfboard that sits under the water. Its um, buoyancy is quite neutral, so it sits under. But as you can see, you got a little bit of rocker in the nose, 130 and 35 in length. Um, has the inserts at the back, but the water, you notice the inserts don't go all the way through the board, like some brands, um, so the, you don't get that water jetting, jetting around and, and just makes it a little bit easier. Last but not least, our high performance foiling board called the Scoop. It's called Scoop for the reason, if you see the scoop on the nose, just gives us fantastic touchdown recovery. It just means when you kind of jam that nose down, you kind of bounce back up again. You'll see it on the video on the website if you get a chance. Jesse, kind of, you can see him riding around and he just does his touchdowns and recovers straight away. Comes, all the boards come complete with foot straps, um, multiple insert positions, but this one has a track system, so you can really fine tune it. There's a lot of guys that just want to, in the weekend, they, they get down to the beach, they want to ride out to an island, they want to ride two hours with a friend, go some, do some adventuring. This is definitely the board. The really unique feature about this is a concave deck. So it feels when you sit in them, you've got your feet in the middle of the board, you really feel a lot closer to the foil itself and you feel more connected with it. Obviously it has the chain rails, so it's super easy to ride when you get, if, you, if you're catching a rail as you're riding on the hillside. Um, so really, really fun foil. Um, all of them come with the kickers on the pads. Big one for us this year is um, the sonar foil system. So all of this fits into a bag. Um, there's two, basically two editions. Uh, the sonar is what we call the free ride edition, which is an 850 wing. Um, and an 85 cm mast, so it's really easy to heel over. Um, it's got incredibly low stall speed, so you can literally not stall until you fall over. We also have a second edition, which is what we call our surf edition. And the surf edition, as you can see, 1650 wing, much bigger, uh, same fuselage, same rear stabilizer, shorter mast, all fits into the same bag as a package. Um, so you can upgrade between the two, but this is your one for, if you wanna go prone surfing, um, if you wanna go wake foiling behind the boat, um, we've worked, worked really hard on this. And the, the really other really key point, I'm not sure if the camera can see it when I put it down, is what we call the geolock system. This connection on the base of the fuselage here, um, you're able to load up, and you'll notice for an aluminum foil, this is incredibly stiff. Like I can really load into this, and we've patent, this is a patent pending, um, that we've, we've connected a system that disperses the energy through the fuselage. And that's one of the reasons our products have a really high performance. Well, thanks so much for Thank you. Awesome. No, thank you.